Greg, this must really frustrate your crews. Every time there's a flood, people still persist in driving through flood waters. Yeah, look, often people overestimate either their own abilities or the abilities of their vehicles. Uh, interestingly enough, statistically, most flood rescues um, come from uh, four-wheel drive vehicles. People think that the vehicle's capable of, um, of getting through the water, when in actual fact it's not. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of water to make a, a four-wheel drive vehicle float. Uh, also, it, um, in the, the nature of floods and flooding is that the road surface is often damaged and um, you can't see that as you drive into the water and that causes you to lose contact with the road and very quickly get into trouble. Volunteer um, rescuers then have to go and put their lives at risk to help you out. So we can only implore people not to enter floodwaters uh, so that we don't see the sorts of tragedies that um, occurred in Victoria on Monday. Yeah, very good message. Harry, now to you. Tell us about the situation in your community this morning and over the last 24 hours. Extraordinary. Yes, good morning. It's uh, It's been quite upsetting to see people in the lower lying areas who they can't get out of their homes, they can't get back to their homes. Um, travellers who are out camping, all of a sudden they've got to pack up everything and get out before they get washed away. Mm. You must have seen a lot of the community banding together to help each other, which is always a positive side to these disasters, Harry. Yes, it is. Um, walking around the streets and you're talking to people, everybody's in good spirits, N nobody seems to be upset, uh, people are helping other people where they can and sort of generally looking after each other.